So, volleyball, college, pro, it doesn't really matter. We got some volleyball to talk about tonight. Um, I know the eight. I know the committee's like top sixteen have been released like like right after I made my last video talking volleyball, but that was a couple weeks ago. It's a new. It's a new time. So the ABP League Championship, which again I kind of brushed under the rug, you know, when I talked about you know volleyball on this channel so far. Um, it happened. The San Diego Smash, which is a team of Miles Evans, Chase Budinger, Gina Arango, and Tony Rodriguez, they are the ones that win the first ABP League Championship. Again, mostly on like CBS Sports Network, that's really where it's been, and Bali Sports Live. You know, the finals were live on CBS Sports Network yesterday. I did not watch those. I was watching Cowboys get absolutely destroyed. By the Philadelphia Eagles instead because that that's just how I am. So um, honestly, the you know AVP socials didn't really do too much to promote. You got other accounts like Set Point, the guy who runs Set Point, you know, promoting it a little bit more. Nobody uh, really, you know, was really like rocking with the ABP League like that, unless you're a super, super diehard beach volleyball fan, which, you know, I, I devote my time to many sports. And while beach volleyball is one of the sports I devote a lot, uh, uh, and well, volleyball in general is one of the sports that I'm devoting a lot more time to, unfortunately, the ABP League. Really didn't capture me at all. At all, it it did not. I, I was confused when this was first announced. You know, I'm like a league with with tour based cities and teams are getting attached to cities and you know, got a men's team and a women's team and everything like that. And I mean, it, that's cool and all. It gets the players, you know, some more time to go completely around you know, and not play overseas like a Japan or, or something like that or, or Sweden or something like that. But, I mean, at the same time, eh. Um, I know there's, like, the Worlds, but, again, I don't care for those. You know, there's, like, the World Championships that are, like, going on or something like that. I think, I, I don't know, I saw something about, like, a World Bracket or something like that, but... Honestly, similar to the AVP League Championship, I just kind of don't really care. You know, this this is that thing that happened. Uh, honestly, the AVP Tour just needs to update their Twitter. They haven't updated it since 2023. Since, like, late 2023. It's November. Guys, Twitter's there for a reason. Guys, people are on, you know, Twitter for a reason. You know, not everybody... Has all the other socials, which I'm not sure because I haven't really checked. But um, yeah, this is a thing that happened. Uh, I'm I'm glad for everything. But yeah, let's talk about the PBF because the PBF schedule is out, and I'm excited. Um, unfortunately, it does start on January the night, which is the night of the college football playoff semifinals, the first leg. Of those semifinals, so I'm not gonna be watching those games. Just not gonna do that. And then you know, maybe Saturday I can definitely watch, you know, a game or two or something like that. Most teams have released the times, you know, and stuff like that. I'm assuming that most games will be streamed on YouTube or something like that. You know, it's kind of weird because uh, League One volleyball really doesn't have anything just yet either, where it's like I think. Again, some matches are like on ESPN for League One, but we don't know the rest. So it could be like Tubi or Dazzin or something like that, or Dazzin, however you want to say it. But yeah, um, 28 games this season, 28 matches, and we have our 18s again. Uh, you know, the Indy Ignite is the new team, the Omaha Supernovas. Are the reigning defending undisputed champions, and you know, this year I'm gonna definitely be looking out a little bit more. The finals are May 9th and 11th, so 
I don't want to make videos back to back because I will be watching the beach championships the week before, so I may make a video like after that. There's also the League One volleyball, like a uh, play in tournament that's in February, so I may make a video around there. Um, it's like a I forgot what the details were, but I do know. Let me check. Let me check to see, you know, what in the world kind of thing, you know, because I know it was something. And I just wanted to get, you know, that out there because there's something going on with League One volleyball, and I know they've released the jerseys too. But it's like it's, it's fine. The jerseys are like kind of boring. They're fine. Uh, You know they are fine. I mean it's okay. I mean I kind of kind of want a little bit more, but it's all right. You know because they're kind of plain. The jerseys are kind of class. They're kind of plain, and it's basically yeah. So it's the triple crown nit. You know, so basically uh, we're going to do that during President's Day weekend. Uh, you know, it's going to be the classic on february 14th through 16th that will be happening you know so yeah it, it's gonna be interesting it'll be in um the municipal arena next to the kansas city convention center it'll be down there so the so the league one volleyball classic that will take place in february real quick um And I got to tell you, it's going to be interesting again. Lots of pro volleyball, you know, to be found again. League One volleyball starts on January 7th. And then, you know, the Pro Volleyball Federation will start a couple days later on the night. Um, I forgot how many matches exactly League One has. But it's like they're doing like a little weekend series thing and some other stuff. Yeah, get the jerseys kind of plain, you know, like plain looking and everything. So, you know, there's two competing pro volleyball leagues at this point. Eventually, maybe in a year or two, I think there will be one. Just so we get that very much clear, there will probably be one, you know, come maybe the year after or something like that. But for right now, similar to like, you know, the PLL, MLL thing or like, uh, you know, like an indoor football thing or like the MSA, the NASL absorbing, you know, a bunch of bottom, you know, you know, well, I would say bottom, but more like lesser leagues, you know, these two leagues will eventually, you know, get themselves together. So what about college volleyball? Well, not much has changed, really. I mean, Pitt is still Pitt. They're number one in the APCA ranking still. Again, Nebraska is cruising along in the Big Ten. You know, you know they are – they easily took care of business against Wisconsin, you know, uh, the other day. Um, and their matchup with Penn State is looming. But Wisconsin just beat Penn State, swept Penn State. With a massive amount of kills, we're talking um, like a twenty kill difference in that in that in that game, you know. Uh, and again, it was this wasn't during this was during college football, so this was during a Saturday where it's loaded college football, and it's been like this for most of the season where it seems like you know NBC is trying to get these windows in or trying to get some good volleyball in and then the matches end in sweeps that's basically all of them all of them have ended in sweeps you know um but yeah Nebraska should be a number one seed along with Pitt again the semifinals again are on the 19th National championship on the 22nd, 14th, 15th will be the basically the um, regionals, the, the regional finals, the quarterfinals. Um, I'm going to be trying my best to watch all four, and it's going to be some good stuff with, with these quarterfinals, baby. It's going to be some good stuff. Um, I'll tell you that much. Um, Texas has been kind of confusing. You know, there's other teams like Kentucky that have been kind of weird. Um, 
you know, Texas has just been losing games, you know, left and right, and I'm sitting here absolutely confused, befuddled, like, why are we losing the teams? Like Missouri, why? Just why? You know, and a lot of in a lot of squads, you know, are trying to, you know, cement themselves. And I know there's the whole thing with the Mountain West, you know, San Jose State having a um, openly trans player that, you know, and, and she's valid. And but again, you know, a lot of those teams have been forfeiting. She is valid in her identity. We discussed this already on this channel of you are free to be whoever you want to be. But at the same time, these teams are forfeiting because they just don't they just don't want to do that. Of course, there's also the golf chick from Boise, you know. So the Mountain West should be interesting, you know. Keep an eye on that, because again, you know, seven forfeited games, you know, San Jose State went like five and five, or is like five and five in, you know, actual Mountain West competition at this at the at the time of this recording. I don't know how many games they have left in Mountain West play. Don't quote me. But, uh, yeah, Mountain West should be very, very intriguing to watch. Again, a lot of, a lot of multi-bid leagues. You know, again, the ACC is looking very multi-bid heavy. You know, Stanford, Louisville, SMU, just, just loaded. Creighton. Um, I didn't get to see them yesterday. Because I was watching a little bit of basketball yesterday, but they did beat Marquette yesterday. And Creighton, you know, also looking like a team that could potentially be a top seed. But again, they did lose to Kansas early in the season. You know, and Kansas, I think they still have one loss. I have not checked the standings at all. I barely checked the rankings. I was like, I don't feel like putting the rankings up and stuff like that today. But, um, yeah. The intrigue is coming down to the wire because we only have a couple weeks, less than three weeks, till the selection show, which was Sunday, December the 1st. So that'll be the next time I come to you talking about volleyball is when that happens, what the selection show will look like. Uh, it should be fun. It should be a fun time, let me tell you, because, again, a lot of teams are fighting for, you know, one, two seeds. I think there's going to be a like. You know, a lot of teams fighting for certain spots, like, again, like Arizona State was one of those teams that felt slighted, but they have to keep winning, you know. The, the, you know, Teams feel slighted, but they have to keep winning. Like Dayton's just cruising along, you know, but they've been just stuck at, like, you know, rank, like 15, 16, and, again, the rankings don't really change that much. I mean, you know, again, in college ball, you know, like, hell, Missouri got right today, which is crazy. Because they went over Texas, of course. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play too much. Like you know, other teams like Florida, Florida State, uh, BYU, you know, Baylor. You know, they're all fighting for you know maybe not necessarily you know one to two seeds like some of these other schools you know or Minnesota too, but they're fighting for those three and four seeds to be able to host you know at least the first round, second round game at least you know. So, again, that'll do it for me. Um, if you saw a short of mine, then you know you've clicked on the right video. Um, just be sure to watch those shorts and keep those subscribers going up. I know I'm trying my best. Um, I've been kind of slow. It feels like I've been slow uploading, but that's actually not the case. Um, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me tell you. I think... I think we're heading down a path of good, intriguing volleyball the last couple of weeks. I don't really have any players to spotlight or anything like that. Um, yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna be a good rest of the season. Let me tell you. So, until next time, which is tomorrow night during the Champions Classic, you know, college basketball, talking about college football. I'll see you, and hope y'all have a good rest of your Monday night. And I'm out.